We were made to be courageous. We were made to lead the way. We could be the generation that finally breaks the chains. It's a great thing for my team. We were made uh, and for my coaches, this is a great opportunity for us to come together as a team and talk about all the things in a team that matter. First, the physical conditioning, the competition was excellent. The mental, it gave us a lot of time to just to talk as a team, talk through coaches, talk through plays, but most importantly, the spiritual. We believe in the total man, and, and truly at this camp, all three men were fed, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. We just thank FCA for great speakers, uh, great competition, running a great camp, but more importantly, keeping this about the kids and introducing them to our Lord and Savior, Jesus. We were made to be courageous, we were made to lead the way, we could be the generation that finally breaks the chains, we were made to be courageous, we were made to be courageous, we were warriors on the front lines, standing unafraid, but now we're and this week at FCA camp, I committed my life to Jesus. What a family slip away. Where are you, men of courage? You were made for so much more. Let the pounding of our hearts cry. We will serve the Lord. And I made a decision this week to come closer with God uh, and my teammates and uh, just be the best person I can be through. The ways the uh, FCA camp impacted us this week was it created a format that allowed us to get together as a team and it lay on barriers that we all have and uh, it allowed us to share freely and openly and when we were able to do that we were, we were finally able to be honest with each other. So we had some uh, uh, young men accept in the process, those that had been saved also rededicated their lives, uh, had a, a coach also uh, come down and accept Christ in his heart. So it, it created a unity and a bond, and, and probably the biggest thing it offered for us is the environment for all that to happen, and openness and honesty, and uh, uh, something we can build on in the future. So we certainly. The that I made at FCA camp this week at West Georgia is that um, see I was already saved, but just uh, that I need to get closer to God, and just being saved is not enough. Um, you can be saved, and that's good to know that we're going to have to this day. FCA camp, I decided to give my life to Christ. Um, it's probably the best decision I've ever made. FCA team camp. Uh, it was a great week for our kids uh, uh, to, to find Christ and also uh, find each other. Um, hopefully uh, this has a big impact on our season this year as we have bond together as one team, uh, one group. Family. Play linebacker. Last night I recommitted um, my life to Christ. The choice I made, I was made to, uh, to, to lead a God more and, you know, uh, read the Bible a lot more and uh, pray a lot more and uh, be close to my teammates and a better friendship and be a better leader. Christ this week is a merciful Savior and uh, it kind of re-energized us coaches. So uh, leaving this camp right here is, is reinforced that when we go back we must pick up where this camp left off to the carry FCA on camp to our kids. has been a wonderful experience for me and the team. It just reunited us with our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, and just helped to create a stronger team bond. And as a uh, teammates accountable and we're all together as a brotherhood and we're all going to treat each other with respect now and not it's roast not each other like we take Christ as my Savior. No matter what, and if you're not scared to represent Jesus in front of your friends, in front of your homies, make some noise. Yeah. Closer in, uh, I know Coach had a discussion about being a leader and you know I was one who wants to step up and say hey you know I'm a senior of the team and I figured you know. Everything around you, this is between you and God. This is between you and Jesus. This thing is personal. Don't worry about who's next to you. Just think about what you're getting ready to do. Just the joy that you're getting ready to enter into. Just the joy that you're getting ready to enter into. Just the joy that you're getting ready to enter into. Just the joy that you're getting ready to enter into. I got closer to my teammates, closer to my coaches. I learned the real, real inside of everybody. Like, 
I rededicated my life to Jesus. You don't know the half of it, then tell me Jesus loves me. Make me wanna kick the bucket. These bullets still I duck it, cause I don't wanna die. Been doing dirt since I was six and I don't wanna fry. Been loving myself for too long, now all I wonder's why. I feel so empty when I come down from being so high. Come as you are. I play linebacker, and last night I reached out and like the leader of the team, and one of the main leaders that we have on the team. So um, I want to thank. I mean, I know all of this wouldn't be possible if I didn't have God in my life, and I uh, made the decision last year. Georgia, to... FCA this summer has impacted myself, my staff, as well as my players in ways that's almost indescribable. Um, we've had some players to commit themselves to Christ this week. We have some players to break down on us in team huddles and pour out their hearts about their personal situations that have shared some things that allow us as coaches actually to look at them as not just a football player, to get underneath those helmets and look at the faces and um, I learned that here in FCA camp that you got to trust your teammates and your coaches to be really close to them and with God. Jesus Christ. Here on the east, I don't know the chick I'm living with, I settled in the west, and I don't know why, but the look of iron just to be feeling so good with the weed in my chest, but I really want to mess you up. At FCA camp, I decided to extend the I uh, made a decision last year to to give my life to Christ um, at the same camp, around the same time last year, and this camp is amazing, and it's um, had a major impact on my life. camp means a lot to us. We, we come here not so much for the X's and O's, but we come to get our focus, focus on God and focus it on our team and, and grow together as a team. And, you know, we'll continue to come. It, it's it's, it's going to be a know, part of our preseason every year to come and, and get focused for the season, and it's a good thing.